Hello, 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 and welcome back to Now Anita. And we have another grocery haul. From the title, you can see that this is an Aldi grocery haul. So I went to Aldi today and I picked up a few things, and here's the things that we got. So let me turn the camera around so we can talk about what I got. Okay, so let's just start over here. We got this Mama Cozy's Texas Toast. My daughter loves, loves, loves Texas Toast. So I grabbed this for her. I think it was a dollar and some change. It wasn't much. Um, that's what I love about Aldi. You can get stuff. I saw this at, well, not, this is eight slices. It was 16 slices at Kroger's. It was like $5 and some change. So a dollar and some change, I'd rather get eight slices of Texas toast and keep her happy. This is something new because every time we go to Costco, they want churros and so i got these cinnamon churros but she was like ew this is like the scent she thinks it's like the cinnamon twist at um uh, taco bell so if she doesn't like these cinnamon churros then i think my grandson he'll like them because he loves those cinnamon twists from taco bell and i'm thinking they're probably gonna be like the cinnamon twist from taco bell but we'll see that's why they say don't go to the grocery store hungry i haven't eaten breakfast and i went to the store and so this is why I ended up with all this starchy type stuff. <laughs> Moving on, we got these uh, peanut butter filled cookies. They're like the Girl Scout tagalongs. Uh, we've been looking for the mint ones. They didn't have them, but I like these and I was hungry, so I grabbed them. The next thing I got was this French toast sticks, uh, French toast sticks, cinnamon. And um, how many is in here? I don't know. Let's see how many servings is in here. I just wanted to try it to see if they like it. Serving size uh, is five sticks for servings per container. So five times four is 20. So it's not bad. And I think it was about a dollar or something. Um, I got this chicken breast. This rotisserie style chicken breast. And uh, yeah, I've never tried their lunch meat before. But I like to make sandwiches. So I'm going to try it. Uh, the next thing I got was this. My kids, they've been loving to make pizzas in the oven. So I got this stone oven bake artisan flatbread. Let me turn it around this way. Yeah, this is better for reading. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the shadow out. But, uh, oh, let me just hold it up here. Duh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is the specially selected brand. And it's a two-pack of flatbread. And pretty nice size, so you can put it on the uh, little um, the little metal pan you cook with. I don't know. I can't talk. I can't think because I haven't eaten breakfast. But yeah, so they like to make pizzas. They're probably not going to put this many toppings on it, but um, I think this will be good to make pizzas. And this will probably make two pizzas. They could probably cut it in half and make one each because it's pretty long. As long as my arm, so it's pretty long. The next thing I got was English muffins. My daughter, she likes to have English muffins in the morning with her uh, Kerrygo butter. And so I got those and that was like $1.15. I was hungry in the store and I grabbed these <laughs> mini muffins. Like the, um, I can never think of the national brand that they have of these. Little Bites, that's what it is, yeah. But I grabbed these Baker's Treats. These are not little bites. I got them from Aldi. I think it was $2.29 maybe. But yeah, I grabbed those. I always need coffee creamer. So I got French vanilla because I'm just plain like that. Also grabbed the almond milk because it's affordable. It's $1.79. For some reason, I'm thinking the almond milk went up a little bit, but maybe it didn't. But I grabbed this almond milk. This is $1.79. Coffee creamer. Mini muffins, chocolate chip, yum, yum, yum. And then I got the soy sauce because my daughter, oh my goodness, they like so many things with soy sauce and I can never keep soy sauce in the house. And to grab this for like a dollar nineteen is way more affordable than grabbing it for two something, two thirty. It would have been two thirty at Trader Joe's. It probably would have been about three dollars maybe at Kroger's or another store, but yeah. So I grabbed that. And the last thing I grabbed was eggs because they've been making a lot of cakes and 
um, cakes. They want to make homemade biscuits. They want to make homemade pancakes, brownies, and I eat eggs in the morning for breakfast when I eat breakfast. I've been skipping breakfast since we've been in quarantine. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I got two things of eggs because I only have two eggs left. And the only thing I went to the store for was eggs, English muffin, and soy sauce. <laughs> but I end up with all this stuff. But I got all these groceries here for under $25. So I think I did good. Did I say anything about this uh, turkey kielbasa? Uh, well, yeah. Turkey Polish kielbasa. I got this because I like turkey sausage and not pork sausage. I got this and... um Basically, I can start in with some potatoes like they did. Those potatoes are brown or either with some pasta and some pasta sauce. Because I got to use that pasta sauce in the fridge. If they're not going to make the pizzas, then I'm going to have to make me something with the pasta sauce. And I can put sausage in it for my protein. Yeah, guys. That's all the things that I got today from Aldi. I really hope you enjoy this haul. Um... Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Do you go to Aldi? Do you have an Aldi in your area? And if so, what are your staples at Aldi? I know the staples that I always get is those muffins, the peanut butter filled cookies. Um, one thing I didn't get because I still have is the uh, tikka masala sauce and also the butter chicken sauce. We still have some of that, and they actually made that last night. Um, they love that stuff. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and join the fam. Peace.